In this short Excel tutorial, I want to show you how to create your own Excel templates. And just so that you can see right away what I'm talking about, let me show you what I mean. Here I am in Excel in the info section. And I'm just going to go click on new. So I click on new and it takes me to a page where I can create a completely blank workbook or I could open up one of these pre-made templates that other people have made and that Excel is making available to me so that I can easily just click to open up one of these templates. And there's all sorts of templates that I can open up and use and for the most part they are wonderful. But in addition to these, notice what else I have. I have a button here that says personal. And when I click on that, I can get personal templates that I have made. No one else can see these, just me. But I can click on these and open up quickly an Excel template that I can then adapt for my own needs and for my own uses. So let's look at how I did this. How did I save this particular spreadsheet to be a personal template? Well, to show you this, I'm going to open up a spreadsheet that I've been working on. This is a monthly family budget that I'd like to use for my family. And I actually found this online and I've gone in and changed some of the categories, some of the expenses and things like that that they had in here. Most of these are relevant to me, but there are a few that don't necessarily apply to me and my family. And so I went in and changed them. So anyway, now that I've made a few changes here, I want to save this so that on a monthly basis I can just open up the template and start putting in the numbers for that month. And because it's a template there won't be any danger of me overwriting the last month's budget. Okay, so to save this as a template what I need to do is go up to File, choose Save As, and I'm going to save this to this PC. So I'll double click on that, this PC. It opened up a window here that I can use to look at my computer, the contents of my computer, in this case my documents. But I want to save this not as a typical Excel workbook, but as an Excel template. So I'm going to select template. And upon doing that, notice that it opened up a folder that I wasn't aware of or I hadn't even selected really it just automatically opened it up and I can see up here at the top what it is. It's in documents and it's called custom office templates. There's a folder called that and I just have one template in there right now. But because I changed this save as type to be Excel template, it automatically opened up this particular folder. Now I can name this template family budget planner one. I want to change that probably and just call it family budget and maybe I should put the word template in there. So family budget template. I'll click save and so now I'm going to X out of this and let's pretend like a few days later I go into Excel, I open it up and I would like to make a new monthly budget for this upcoming month. I don't have to open up last month's and then change all the dates and change all the numbers and delete out the numbers that were there from last month. Instead I just open up Excel, I go in and choose personal and there it is family budget template and I double click on it. It opens up. Everything is blank and now I can go in and click or double click and type in the next month in there and then I can start putting in the numbers that apply and I could change let's say the extra income for the month or whatever it might be. But this way there's no need to open up last month's and then delete all the numbers, change everything. This will save you a lot of time, a lot of work and one of the nicest things about it is you're not going to accidentally click save and erase last month. So let's say you opened up October's spreadsheet, changed the numbers in preparation to do November's family budget, and then you accidentally click save. It's going to erase October's spreadsheet and overwrite it. So using a template solves that problem. You're not going to accidentally overwrite last month's work. Okay, so let's pretend like I've put in all the numbers and this budget is done. I'm going to go up to File, Save As, this PC. This time I'm not saving it as a template, I'm just saving it as a workbook. And all I have to do is take out the word template, Family Budget November. 2017 and click save. And then just to reiterate, next month I can go in, click personal, 
open up the family budget again and it's the blank version of the budget again and this time I'll put in December so hopefully you get the idea and you see the advantage to doing it this way to using Excel templates to create content that you need to generate on a monthly basis or maybe a quarterly basis or even a yearly basis but you don't want to have to recreate the will each time you want the template available in a partially blank format right the numbers are zeroed out many of them and then you can just build from there for the current month or quarter or year. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please click like and please consider connecting with me on my social media websites like Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. And please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students and watch for another video from me at least every Monday.